In this video, we will take you through all you need to know about the new meta player for Auto Presentation Switcher. And if you open the user interface, you see this new tab for the meta player. Here you can choose between 40 video, audio or image files. And to select a video, you push this open button. And now we're going to select four different videos for slot number one to four. So you just push the buttons for the videos you like. And now to play a video, you first select it with the load button. And then when you push play, it will play back on the external display. To choose which display the video will play on, go to the main presenter screen. And by default, with the auto setting, it will play on the external display. But you can also set this manually here. And while you are playing back the videos, you get the normal playback controls for pausing the video, resume it, restart, and you can seek to a new playback position with the slider, like this. These buttons down here will choose uh, which video will load next. So if you want to repeat the same video, then choose repeat. Now when you play it, it will load again after a couple of seconds. So now we can play the video again and again. And if you want to make an ordered list that will play in a chronological order, then choose next. So now we'll first play video one and then number two and number three and number four, like this. Here you can fade and repeat the video. So this is great for loops that you can have in the background. Like now, if you look at the external monitor, notice that the video fades in seamlessly with the desktop background. And it will repeat again when it's going to the end seamlessly. These buttons here, will go to the previous and next video in the list. So you can toggle between all the videos to select what you want to play. Okay, so this is what you need to know about the user interface. Hopefully it should be quite simple and straightforward, but to get the most out of our meta player, you should really get yourself a stream deck and companion, because then you get hands-on button and feedback for almost all the commands in our meta player. And that's what we're going to learn next, so stay tuned. In companion, we have presets for most of the commands. So when you go to the setup page, you can just drag and drop the buttons where you need them. And I have cheated a little bit and created this 12 button layout with most of the buttons that are from the user interface. So as you can see, we just copy the icons from the user interface into companion. And now on the stream deck, we have the play button, pause, restart and stop. And here you can toggle to the next video and go back and you can loop and fade. Just put on the, as you remember, it's the global settings for loop and fade. And now we can play in a video like this, stop it. I'm going to turn off these settings, as you can see. And we also made an alternative layout just for now, because there are so many commands that they don't fit into one page. So. Here, instead of having four videos here that you can choose between, you just see the selected video here in the blue, sorry, in the yellow button. And now you can just toggle through all the videos you have and play it. Then this button here gets red. You can also see the video timer here, which is now the countdown, but you can also get the count up and here's the total duration of the video. And one last thing I want to show is how to do this on top of PowerPoint presentations. So let's say you have a PowerPoint here and now when you play the video, 
it will just play on top of the PowerPoint presentation. And while you're displaying the video, you can go to the next slides and do what you want and then exit the video. And there is one thing that I forgot to mention, and that is the old still images. They will now act as a background layer behind the videos. So if you want to clear your display with an image like this, then this is now on top of the PowerPoint presentation, the video. When you now play a video on top, it will look like this. So this is the new media player. It should be quite intuitive to use. And it gives you a lot of power from just one computer, because now you can control your presentations, add images, and play videos from just one computer. I think this is a kind of superpower. So the Meta Player is out now. Please test it and let us know what you think. Take care and see you again soon.